Hey everybody, this is going to be a comparison between Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Now that Windows 8.1 is out, I can do a little comparison. I got both of these installed in on virtual machines. On the left is Windows 8, on the right is Windows 8.1. Now Windows 8 was Microsoft's first attempt to make an operating system that kind of draws a tablet interface together with a PC interface and I don't really care too much for it. Anyways, um, in Windows 8, you're greeted with this every time you start the computer. And of course, here's your desktop. I'm going to click desktop in this too. And you notice there's no start button over here. You have to take your mouse cursor and just find the right spot down here to click start. Or, go over here to charms and click start. And, um, you notice right away that, um, in Windows 8.1 we have better app sizes and we have more apps to choose from so let's go ahead and look at all apps and start in um let's see Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 Windows 8 you get the right click and say all apps Windows 8.1 you just gotta click this little down button here and they even provided a um, search bar up here now I'm not sure why this is um, doing what it's doing right here with the remaining stuff on the computer probably because it's in a virtual machine I would guess you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse to go back and forth and if you notice the included apps in Windows 8 there's not that many of them versus Windows 8.1 there's a lot more apps the apps have been improved and um, there's a lot more useful apps in here so anyways um, let's go ahead and show you something else here like let's say PC settings now if you notice in Windows 8 to access PC settings you pr you practically have to search for it or um, go to the charms click on settings and then click on change PC settings and this is the PC settings um, thing in Windows 8 and let's go ahead and access the PC settings in Windows 8.1. They got the app for it right here. Just one click and you're there. So anyways, now this is the um, revamped PC settings um, app in Windows 8.1. It's more, um, it's better laid out. It has PC and devices it's right here. You have personalization stuff here. Scroll down, you have lock screen apps. I had to actually turn the camera on and off, which there's no camera here because it's a virtual machine. Now that we're in PC and devices, you'll have lock screen, display, devices, mouse and touchpad, typing, corners and edges, power and sleep, autoplay, PC info, accounts. Now, of course, you could this is where you could um, create a Microsoft account or connect with one, that kind of stuff. Change your account picture your sign in options you can add a password here add a picture password or a pin see other accounts you can add more accounts right here SkyDrive which I'm not going to mess with that search and apps you can you can customize how search works all that kind of stuff and if you have a meter connection you can um, change settings here now, this is actually turned on by default, which I kind of like that because this way um, it won't excessively use your connection if you're on meter connection. Right here is share, sharing options, show apps how I use that. Uh, show apps I use most often at the top of the app list. Show a list of how I share most often items and lists, that kind of stuff. See notifications for apps app sizes shows you how, how much space your apps are taking and of course defaults at the bottom you can change everything more or less back to default or change your default browser or default email and music player and video player now here's one thing I don't like here is um, in both 8 and 8.1 um, if you're using a desktop computer or a laptop, you will probably want to use like let's say Windows Media Player for your video player or Windows Live Photo Gallery for your picture viewer or um, Windows Photo Viewer. 
Instead, they got these uh, what I call tablet apps set as default. So it rips you out of the desktop environment and makes you go into here. And I'm going to try to do a more in-depth um, overview of Windows 8.1. This is more or less comparison between the two. So this is definitely going to be a longer video. But anyways, you get the idea with Windows 8.1. Everything is more laid out. You have a lot more, um, a lot more features here. It's kind of like the control panel. Now in uh, PC settings in Windows 8, you have personalized users, notifications, search, share. Oh, in general. And notice here, it automatically sets the system time to Pacific time, regardless of where you're at. Now, let me go ahead and go back over here to Windows 8.1 and in this um, have a look at this. Time and language. Pacific time. Microsoft, why can't you seem to figure this out? Not everybody in the on the globe is in Pacific time. They can't seem to figure this out. They should ask you this when you install the operating system. I'll go ahead and change Windows 8 to the correct um, time zone, which is Eastern Time. And then I'll have to, um, of course, actually set the clock to the correct time. And scroll down. There's no um, save, so automatically, this, apparently, this saves automatically. And then um, I'm going to wait and do this later in Windows 8.1. But anyway, you get the idea. Um, the PC settings in um, Windows 8 is not very well laid out, and there's nothing much to it. Overall, Windows 8 is is, is um, garbage. It's hard to use. And I find it very cumbersome to use, especially on laptops with trackpads. Now here we're back to the desktop. We're going to go to the desktop a little bit and show you some things. Now I'm trying to do this where the video doesn't get too long. So let's go ahead and go to the desktop. Again, I already mentioned the start button, which I feel is misleading. There should be a start menu there. But I'm going to show you a few things that they've done here. They have improved the desktop by putting the start button in, but at the same time, they have taken away some features. You have a control panel in Windows 8.1, and you have a control panel in Windows 8. Now, um, if you notice in Windows 8 and 8.1, there is no um, backup and restore. That's gone. That's, yeah, that's definitely one thing. Yeah, now it's this Windows 7 file recovery. Which you can, um, in Windows 8, you have, you still have the option to create a system image, and it's so funny, it's called Windows 7 file recovery. How much sense does that make? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Go over to the Windows 8.1 control panel. You notice that Windows 7 file recovery is gone. No longer there. Let me show you something else here. Go into system. There is no longer um, Windows Experience Index. That's gone. In Windows 8, um, it's there. This hasn't been rated yet. But if you notice in um, 8.1, that's gone. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm not really getting in depth in, here, in this, and it's getting pretty long. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to wrap this up. 
by changing some settings in Windows 8.1 to make it really stand out from Windows 8. We'll go back to the desktop here. Right click, save properties. Go to the navigation. Check all of these. So I've checked all these here and go ahead and um, uncheck these two. Show the charms and switch between recent apps. This gets rid of the hot corners. I'll click OK. And of course, another way to restart Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 is to right click and say shut down or sign out. And I'm, actually, I believe in Windows 8. That's right, Windows 8, that's not available. You have to go through the start screen mess to get to shut down. So, anyways, right click on start button, shut down or sign out, and you click on restart. And while that's restarting, you notice here that navigation tab is missing from Windows 8. And this looks all messed up because I had it um, maximized like this, and the um, the boot splash screen doesn't get that big. So let Windows 8.1 start back up. And of course, uh, when Windows 8 starts, you're greeted with this every single time you start the computer, regardless, unless you install a third party app that actually bypasses the start screen. Now we're starting up Windows 8.1 right now. Then we are straight to the desktop. Click on Start. We see Apps by Category. And you notice now all of those um, tablet apps are shoved way back here. And up front are all of the um, desktop apps. So anyways, um, yeah, it's a bit long and not very, very in-depth, but it's kind of a comparison between Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. If you want a more in-depth video of Windows 8.1, um, I'm going to do a more in-depth review of Windows 8.1. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.